Welcome to Salento with Love. I'm David Mengele and here we have Mark. Finally, people are starting to travel and we are regaining our freedom. How does yes. it feel to be free? Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's fabulous here. <laughs> it's great. Now, Mark and I had a first Zoom call. We looked back the other day on the 1st of February, 2021. Yeah. It wasn't that long ago. No. And no. probably shortly after we looked at a few properties for you. And what happened after that? Well, uh, one of them looked really great, and then another one looked really great. <laughs> and then another one came up right next to the second one. You know those people so, that they just can't stop, but yeah. they're doing the right things. Yeah, no, this is, it, it, this is working out fabulously. So yeah, so that was interesting because, uh, and also spin-offs that have been happening as a result of this, because I remember when I went to see a property that we identified, and he wasn't the right one, but thanks to us viewing that property I ended up viewing a palazzo that is actually ending up to someone else that you've yes. met recently as well so it, it's an incredible how these things happen but what was the process like Mark of making a choice remotely without even knowing where you are now well you know I, I did a lot of research um, and I watched a lot of YouTube I watched a lot of your, your channel and watched a lot of you and your process and studied some other people as to what they do and um, I, I really felt confident in his process and, and, and your mission and what you're doing here um, and the whole the idea of not just the area but the property management without without you need the combination of both without without the property management it wasn't going to work for me but he offered the whole solution and so I'm here <laughs> right well I mean I think uh, I was probably just as nervous as you because a lot of people think, oh wow, Davide is saying all these things and then we have a Zoom call and since, fr uh, since February I've had so many calls with uh, amazing people like Mark and, uh, and then I get nervous, I'm thinking, are they going to like it? What is it going to be like when they arrive? And, uh, and then we, we develop relationships with probably some of you watching these videos that have met me personally or they're going to meet me and, uh, and it, it's fantastic. So what was your impact when you actually arrived? Well, first of all, where are you? Where you purchased your properties? And what was the impact when you arrived? And you're only a couple of days away now from leaving. leaving. So yeah, uh, I have to tell you, uh, it's a it's a wonderful magical place it really is um i have uh i haven't paid for this no, by the way he hasn't paid he hasn't paid anything um maybe lunch later i don't know <laughs> that song there we go but no um no it's just a magical place people are fabulous warm kind and thoughtful it's it's so easy to meet people um it's it's beautiful the food is delicious the wine is fabulous um, it's, it's sunny and warm and beautiful every day you're near the beach you're near the town I'm in Galatina and my, my places that I'm acquiring two of which have closed so far all a very professional thoughtful well done process um, are, are fabulous uh, I, I, the third one will be closing at the end of this month um, it's just really a, a a great thing and um, you very quickly because um, I had never been here before I, I, I decided I was going to do this without even have ever been in Galatina or in southern Italy I never been to Puglia oh, wow. I've, been, I've been to other parts of Italy a number of times loved it but I decided on Puglia and, and the process with, with, with Davide um, without even ever having been here but it has been beyond expectation. It has really been beyond expectation. And I'll be honest with you, I'm from New York. I'm hard to impress. So, but it's it's really met and exceeded all my expectations from working with this guy, to the process, to, to everything that's happened, to meeting. We, we have not only closed in the last week, but we've met with, with designers. We're getting quotes for windows, doors, design of the, the whole place. Because we're, I'm, I'm redoing some of the properties. It's just, it's, it's been a fantastic journey that is happening faster than I even thought it would, with the whole just re, the redesign and everything. And it's just, it's a fabulous thing. He knows the people that 
um, come in and give you the quotes and and I couldn't get I couldn't be anywhere near if I was doing this alone if I just bought it from the realtor and decided I was going to do this holy model I'd be lost and I don't get lost easily I, I, I usually figure things out quick but I'd, I'd be nowhere near nowhere near what because he has the connections and, and, and the people and the friendships that uh, are, go back years many years um, and that's just invaluable so one of the things I learned one of the best things I learned in life is to surround yourself with good people and that way uh, one plus one can equal three and in that case uh, that, that's what's happened here and that is what's continuing to happen so I encourage you to do the same Wow I like the one plus one equal three it's it's incredible because you probably have noticed in these two weeks that you've been here that I'm a, I'm a process person and sometimes yes. uh, I'm straightforward I move very quickly but there is a lot of process there and uh, what I've put into place here in the last year and a half it's probably a very challenging operation for a lot of people and so when I find people on the other side of the world that they can actually understand remotely what I'm doing and then they get here and they actually see it in action it's uh, it's 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 a very uh, rewarding uh, feeling so um, it's it's just incredible to see how people have been able to make a choice remotely because you chose your property remotely yeah. your expectation was met uh, yeah. the town where you bought your property was chosen remotely yeah. on the basis of our consultation one correction though my, my expectation was exceeded oh wow <laughs> <laughs> it was exceeded um, and, and quite honestly, okay, I've owned properties out of state before. It was possible because uh, I, I, I hired a management company, but they really didn't really manage the property. They just collected the rents and, and then ma managed a couple of different fixes along the way. But this is a, this is a, a process that far exceeds that. And um, I can, I, if you can imagine buying a property in another continent and then trying to make it what you want to make it and then um, having someone manage that property, well, try doing that all on your own. I'm, not, I'm, I'm pretty confident in myself. I wouldn't want to do that. But when I have the right person here, right on the ground, right here, all the time, who's involved in the properties, and that is his business, that is his mission. That's the guy that I want on my team. And so, um, Thank you I for can't that. stress that enough. Thank you for that. But it, you'll probably have noticed because in that uh, weeks that you've been here, you've met a few people as well, which are from the States, or they're traveling yeah. from the States, and they've made similar choices, they've purchased properties here. And you, you've, Obviously, uh, you, you've heard me talking about my vision and uh, the idea of creating not so much of a community, but a, a place where people can have access to different services. Because when you travel to places that you don't know, and especially if you own an asset, if you own a property, it's just nice to have access to things that can enhance your experience. Um, what do you feel about that based on what you've seen in terms of where I'm going, what, what I'm doing here in Salento? Well, based, this is the idea of a testimonial. I mean, otherwise, I wouldn't be doing a testimonial. Based upon the places we've gone, the wine tour we did oh, yes. was fabulous. Wine tour is fabulous. The wine was incredible. <laughs> the olive oil almond and the yum. Uh, the, the places we've gone, the beaches we've the process he's setting up involving the property is only one part of the process. It's a process that is evolving. I can see it already. We've talked about it <laughs> over a few glasses of wine. And yeah, this is a process that's going to continue evolving and getting better and better. So if you want to be in the first wave, now's the time. God knows what's going to happen. I did say to my sister only yesterday, not more sales. I just cannot handle it. It's just too much. Oh, I'll, take, I'll take a couple more. <laughs> just, just a couple, couple. more. <laughs> but really, the idea of looking after what happens after the sale, and I can't stress enough how important it is for me not to focus on the actual purchase in itself, but on what happens after the sale. Yeah. And because of the incredible amount of work that results from after the sale, obviously I need to structure and 
build and uh, so this is the most incredible process where a real tour normally shakes your hands yep. wishes you good luck and uh, and then and so waves you away and where, where our work starts at the moment of completing so we'll guide the clients all the way through and then the process starts and it's fantastic to know that these people are going to be part of a community yeah. but i think we should spend just a couple of minutes look i've got a set of keys out of the three and we just share with the people just one of the properties because maybe maybe in a few months down the line they're going to be seeing the development of yeah. your property as well we can share that again when you come back in september oh, yeah let's so do let's, that. Do that. let's do that okay so it makes a difference being in a town and also well we're just walking towards one of the property we will call it property number one yep i would say yeah yep. i was so excited about this property because i remember i was called by a realtor here in uh, Galatina saying Davide you need to come and have a look at this and I remember doing a little post on Instagram and then we got talking with Mark and a couple of weeks later I thought well this property would be perfect for someone like Mark and that's exactly what happened but it's fantastic to walk down the road of a of a town like Galatina you're probably becoming now familiar with places like Roger 65 oh yeah Ascalone for the pasticciotto. Yep. Probably some of the jewelry shops that they'll probably oh, yeah. make you now. So, yeah. and you probably have visited some smaller towns as well. Yes, absolutely. But what's the vibe here in, in the evening? Oh, it's beautiful. People are out, children are out playing, uh, families are walking with their children, older grandparents are with their children and their grandchildren. It's just everybody, it's just, it's just, you've probably heard the saying, the party doesn't start until the Italians arrive. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, last night it was a party indeed, actually. And the architecture, what did you, how did you feel about the architecture? You said, obviously, you've never been to Puglia, but you've been to different parts of Italy. What, what, what did you think about the architecture here in Salento? Yesterday, I know you spent a day in yeah. Lecce, for example. Um, heartwarming, wonderful. Um, it, it's just everywhere you look, you see art. Okay. Uh, look, look, look at the balconies. Look at the balconies. Look at, look at the arches and the windows. You can't, you can't look anywhere and not see beauty. So, so, uh, so when we had the first chat, uh, you, you were actually coming on to me because you saw another channel, Davo channel, yeah. and then you, you jumped onto and started watching my channel. Do you think I get overexcited when I describe the architecture and the beauty of Salento? Uh, no, you do not get overly Do excited. I fake it? No, <laughs> you do not. I absolutely I mean, look, 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 love this land. Oh, look, he wants to show me something. Look at this. Oh, it's just beautiful. Look at the flowers yeah, this is over there. Andriani. Yeah. And this um, is just normal. <laughs> this is just everywhere. Everywhere. You don't see this back home. This is it's beautiful. Yeah, and a couple of minutes ago we were sitting there having a coffee and a fresh orange juice and then you're walking down this yeah. beautiful street and I can't stress enough the beauty of the architecture but also combined with the community and the life. This is not yeah. a touristy place that people no. come here to buy souvenirs. This is where people yeah. live. Yeah. And so that was what makes it very special. Well, we're almost there at the house. So, well, actually, this has become your favorite. <laughs> I don't want to tell you oh, about that one. Okay, no. no okay, I'm not going to tell you about that. It's his favorite spot. And you, you, you <laughs> all right. Well, we keep some secrets. We can't share everything. How beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. So we have arrived here in yep. front of your door in uh, Corte Giuseppe Lillo. And it's incredible what you just said because you look out of your front door and this is where you see pure beauty and a lot of these buildings they're getting restored refurbished as you noticed as you walk oh, yeah. through so this is going to be one of them so should we go in yes let's do and it. just describe very gently wow leave the door open well you're going to say goodbye to this today as well or tomorrow yeah. And then when you come back, probably you're going to see already some work some that work. is being carried out. But incredible to see the carparole and the solid stone vaulted ceilings. Yep. And th this building, remember when you were at uh, the Notario and you met all the family, family. there were seven kids that actually grew up. This, this family had seven children and they said that they yeah. had plenty of space in here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how. 
And yeah. al also, at some stage, this was turned into a little grocery store as well. Yeah. This is going to be the bedroom, and he was yep. turned into a grocery store. Yep. So I'm going to turn the camera around and give you a little tour of the property. I have a nice convertible bed here, a nice leather couch, some great lighting, uh, very good and, uh, little spotlights, mood lights, um, surround sound in every room, beautiful sound. We heard the sound system yesterday. Uh, this is going away. This won't be out here anymore. Uh, maybe we'll have a television here and some other things to just artwork throughout the room. Uh, we'll travel on into the, what is going to be the kitchen. Um, this is all set up so this can easily be made the kitchen. Um, so yeah, probably a stove, uh, oven, dishwasher, dishwasher, <laughs> washer, dryer, either in the bathroom over in here, um, cupboards, pots and pans, everything in here. Um, we're going to redo the floors. Yeah, I got to stop here. New floor, new this, new kitchen. But I've seen a lot of videos of people that they're stepping properties like this and all they do, they just put a little bit of paint and they say, look at the floor, it's fantastic. No. Look at this kitchen, it's already there. We have a kitchen. No. Yeah, so it's, it's yeah. just great as well. For me, the idea of adding beauty back into these buildings. Which is and already beautiful. Yeah, and working with the features that are already there. This wasn't the original floor. This is something that happened and probably changed three, four, 19, five times. The 1980s, 1990s, yeah. whatever. So the idea of bringing back some of that beauty. And so when I work with people like Mark or other people that I'm working with, it's just great. So for me, it's important for the building itself to have those features that then allows you to enhance your quality mm -hmm. as well as a finished product. So mm -hmm. yeah, I just wanted to drop that in. Sometimes yeah. I see videos and I'm thinking, how can I rave about that floor? I can, well, but you know, everyone yeah. has got their own taste. taste. But, but it's great when you build on solid grounds and when you build on amazing features. Yeah, this is this, this it, ceiling. That, that kitchen room. that you described, yeah. although it's small, but it's got a vaulted ceiling. And when you look at the thickness of the wall, you realize this was probably part of the city walls and it's ancient. It's six, yeah. 700 years old. So even bringing those little elements back when the kitchen yeah. comes in here, it's just fantastic. Yeah. I'll let you get on. It's going to be very special. Uh, that may brought the idea to me and it makes so much sense. Um, this is going to be the spa room. Wow. Okay. So we're going to put a jacuzzi hot tub here, um, a little storage, uh, uh, just make it a beautiful destination. And there, uh, the, the bathroom we're redoing, we're putting in a double shower. So it's all going to be retiled, all going to be redone with glass, glass doors, double shower. Um, it's really going to be a very romantic destination place. So that's what's possible here because you start with the foundation of something so beautiful, so romantic, but then you enhance it with today's abilities, what you can do. Um, it's really, I, I, I can't wait. So we are talking about a one bedroom, beautiful boutique yeah. apartment in the heart of Galatina. Yeah. So from a rental point of view, obviously, you know that that is going to attract uh, better mm -hmm. returns. Uh, it may be a little bit more of an outgoing in getting the place ready, but you also know that you're going to be different from your competition because yes. people are constantly looking for that extra touch and their quality. Yeah. Well, they having the, having the jacuzzi, hot tub, spa, fabulous. Nobody has that. <laughs> a dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a bedroom over there, which is quite spacious. So that will be a lovely bedroom yep. in here with also star-shaped ceilings. I love the sound of this, yeah. this make, you know, when you put on some surround, you know, this star-shaped ceiling create a wonderful surround. And the music will be spectacular in here. Spectacular. So, yeah, I just I can't wait. Can we share what you paid for this or do you want to share it? Go ahead. Okay, what did Go you ahead. pay for it? 38,000. Wow. 38,000 euro. Yeah, so it wasn't a one euro home. 
No, it's not a one-year-old. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want to see a one-year-old at home. You'd have, you'd have to be, be tripping over rocks. What uh, people pay for real estate is all relevant, oh, really, yeah. to uh, what, what the budget is as well. But I think, you know, sometimes I talk about the one-year-old home and I'll say Salento is not a one-year-old place because we're not on top of the mountains. We're surrounded by the most extraordinary coastlines. We were yeah. on the beach the other day. You saw already how busy they are in, in June. Yeah. The season hasn't even started and we're still crippled because people can't really travel freely. So Salento attracts an incredible amount of interest. And then it's amazing because a city like Galatina doesn't really thrive on tourism. It's a local community. So I wouldn't think local community would allow properties like this to go for one euro. Well, there were seven people plus the mother, remember, sitting yeah. around that table. Imagine sharing one euro. It yeah. would have been difficult, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So well done, Mark. Well, and thank, uh, you. thank you. I think you. yeah, we will probably love to share as the weeks and the months go by the project oh, and yeah. uh, the developments of this property and a lot of the others. And in the meantime, good luck to you. Oh going back home and uh, we can't wait to have you back here in Salento. September. Yeah, with your friends and your family. Oh, yeah. uh, we're all part of a big family. Uh, for you, thank you very much for following the channel. Subscribe. I always love your comments, wherever those are. Uh, send me an email if you are interested to be part of the journey because this is very much a journey. And one important thing, stay safe wherever you are. Oh, we thought we had done with this video, but actually I think we needed to come back because the best way to finish, I think, the video of Salento was by showing this food yeah. and this. I think we can officially say goodbye now. Ciao.